I want to tell you about uh, a big band leader named Tommy Dorsey. Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra played the trombone. His theme song was uh, Getting Sentimental Over You. But he did a beautiful job of that. You know, it was his theme song. And he was eating well, I don't know, or with somebody or what. He got a piece of meat down his throat and he 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 choked and he died. Just like that. And that says no more Tommy Dorsey in his orchestra. He had a younger brother, Jimmy Dorsey, he played a clarinet. But he was never as famous as his brother, Tommy. But that was a terrible thing. Uh, Tom choked on a piece of meat and died. That was the end of him, just like that. I know another case. A friend of mine was at home with his wife. They're watching television. He was eating some grapes. And he got a grape down his throat. Couldn't breathe. Went into an absolute panic. I guess there's nothing that will put you into a panic faster than not being able to breathe. Well, no, he, uh, he, he got so uh, worked up over that, he also got a, got a heart attack. By the time they got him to the hospital, uh, well, he couldn't talk. His brother was there trying to talk to him. He, he couldn't talk. Uh, so much of his brain had been ruined by that. I don't know how much time was involved. But I think it's only a matter of uh, several minutes and your brain is can start becoming destroyed and uh, it's like having a stroke. You know, it's uh, very terrible. So I want to bring a lot to tell you about that. This is on the importance of not stroke, getting, getting not, getting, uh, uh, or not, not choking. Don't choke on the food you eat. Fast food idea is probably not, not a very good idea. Especially something that uh, can just fit down in your windpipe and, and, and plug it off and you can't breathe and you're done. You know, that's terrible. You don't realize, I guess, how easily you can uh, you can die from not being able to breathe. I had an experience one time. I was at a friend's house. I had one of these little whistles. Yeah, it was a little, a little tube with a half-inch diameter, maybe an inch and a half long, and it had a reed in the, in the center of it. And you could blow and suck on it, and you get a couple of notes. You know, it'd go wee, wah, wee, wah, as you blow and suck on it. And I sucked that thing, and a reed came out of it, went right down my throat. And I suddenly realized that I could not breathe. Now, this was start, starting to get dark. Nobody was around me. And... I was about 12. I, the only thing I could think of is start running home. I had about two blocks to go. Well, I, I ran about uh, 20 feet or so and I coughed involuntarily. And I coughed that reed up and I could, I could breathe. What a relief. Oh, it's, well, if I wouldn't have gotten that thing out, they'd they probably would have found me dead in the morning. You know, you just can't go without breathing. Well, you knew that. If you can't, it's terrible stress. Hold your breath. You, you, you can't do that except for so long. You got to have oxygen coming into your uh, lungs, and that oxygen goes up to your heart, and your heart distributes around. That's necessary for you to live. And the rest of uh, the stuff other than the oxygen is exhaled.
your lungs take care of that automatically. So that's, uh, I think it's worthwhile mentioning and remembering. Uh, you just can't uh, stop breathing. So I had that personal experience myself. It was very scary. And never, of course, I'll never forget that. And I'm more careful about it. Generally, I'd say don't try to avoid doing a lot of talking while you're eating or laughing and stuff like that. Especially uh, things that can just fit into your throat. You know, and if you can't get it out, you're done. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's so important. I think it's important enough to mention and remember. So, uh, yeah, don't choke. <laughs> don't be careful when you're eating. Chew what you're eating. Chew good and then swallow. And don't be talking while you're swallowing or, or laughing while you're swallowing. Because you, you, you've got to be able to breathe separately from eating. Unfortunately, it's the same throat. But uh, there's a valve or something down there that it goes one way, it takes food down in your stomach. If it goes the other way, it takes air in your lungs so that your lungs can get oxygen is sent up to your heart. So, uh, I think it's worthwhile knowing and I just wanted to mention that to you. <laughs> I think there's probably a lot of people that die from choking every day around the world. We do, we do we don't hear about it. You know, it's not considered big news, right? Okay, well. So be careful when when you're eating uh, that you don't get something down your throat that prevent you from breathing. Remember the Heinrich maneuver where you, you put your arms around a person's waist and you, you get them a jerk together like that. Sometimes that'll shove some air in your lungs upward and unplug you. You know, so that's a worthwhile, uh, worthwhile thing to remember, I hope. To. I hope that wasn't too boring. I think it's worth mentioning. I'm pretty much conscious of that all the time since I had that close experience myself. Ooh. And uh, knowing about these two cases, uh, my friend and uh, Tommy Dorsey, great musician, and uh, joked eating a piece of meat and my well, life's gone for good. Okay, well, that's uh, a little health tip for today. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time.